Were you uh, shocked when TNA hit its first one year mark? Not, not really shocked. I, I, I thought it was cool. You know, they made a big deal of it, and I, I want to say that was the, the, the day we did the cage match, the first cage match with, uh, with AMW. So we were the first cage match in yeah. TNA history, which I thought was cool. So, back when Skipper pitched a spot where he walked the cage and hit the uh, Ron off the top of the cage, what was your uh, first reaction? I, I thought it was brilliant, man. I was just like, I prayed to God that he could hit it. You know what I mean? I knew because we'd seen him walk the ropes a million times. And um, I think he thought because it was a cage and not a rope, it would be easier. But I remember he told me after the fact that he was struggling to get up because, you know, we'd already wrestled 20 minutes at that point. Yeah. And, um, you know, and I we had to put it together a certain way because I knew that Harris, the guy that took the bump, he needed to be standing on somebody because there was no foothold and he would never be able to base just sitting on, on his ass. And so we worked it out where I put his foot on my shoulder and I basically held the cage. So he was using me as almost like a turnbuckle. Like for if he was taking it off the buckles, I would be the second rope. And so he was standing on me and so we put it together so he had a, a place to put his feet. Right. And then, you know, we're just like, you know, if he doesn't go, we were going to do something else, but let's see. And, and just time stood still as we're watching him struggle, struggle. And then finally, as he's doing it, I'm just like, all right, well, we got it. Memories of uh, your feud with America's Most Wanted. And how did uh, James Storm change and grow over the years? And, and why do you think that uh, Chris Harris didn't succeed? Um, whoa, okay. A lot uh, of questions. Yeah. First of all, um, the, the, the feud with those guys was a lot of fun. I, I felt like we all had a really good chemistry and we had a good uh, rapport with each other. And I, I feel like, you know, those guys are still... After that long, after working that long together, I feel like we've got a pretty decent relationship, all four of us. Um, I, I, I think that James sort of found a confidence that he didn't have at the beginning. And I think a lot of that had to do with, I think, people's perception of the team. Um, I, I, you know, I, I think he always had confidence in himself, but I feel like he probably heard everybody's everybody's uh, judgment of the team was that Harris was the star and James was sort of the second fiddle. Right. And um, I think once they split up and he started to find his self, he, he got a confidence in himself that he might not have had when they were in the team. And so, um, you know, and now he's, you know, he's where he's at and he's become very comfortable doing what he's doing and the character that he's portraying. Um, as far as Harris, like, I, that's another one of those things where, you know, he's got all the goods, um, you know, when he went up to the WWE, I, I, I think it might have been just a like a wake-up call as far as like doing things differently. Uh, you know, and he may not have just fit in that system and just the frustration of not fitting in and not finding a groove sort of took its toll on him. And, you know, once that sort of happened, I think that that took a lot of wind out of his sails. I, I think. I mean, obviously, I, I, I wasn't talking to him at that point, but I, I mean, my understanding or my mentality would be like once... Once he got let go, he never really came back to TNA, and I don't know if that was, you know, a, a heat issue or they just didn't have a thing for him because at that point James had gotten so good on his own, uh, or or even after that, once he got the thing with Bobby, there really wasn't a reason to bring him back to be with James. So I, I think there was some, there was like a health issue in there too that sort of screwed him up, but I, I don't know exactly what it was. Right. I just know that the, there, there was a while where he was really sick and, and not, uh, not working as often as he was.